Praise God. Glory to Dios. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you want to be a part of our ministry in the adventures, the things we're doing, great things for God to bring the good news. If you want to be part of this ministry, go to my website and habla los in the name of Jesus Christ. Dios le bendiga. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Awesome day. Praise God. Today we have awesome guests today. Brother Bostamantes, God bless you. God bless you. Brother Praise Jaime, you. Praise the Praise Lord. Praise Hallelujah. You. Brother Bostamantes, tell us, what gave you that name, the city on the hill? Praise God. What gave you that idea and inspired you? Well, it, what, what inspired us with that is one day we were, uh, we were going out to uh, witness in Kerrville, Texas. Kerrville, Texas. Yes, we have our associate pastor, Pastor Frank. He, his family from Kerrville. That's where they grew up. And as we were coming back, we seen the hill country, and we seen those houses that were sitting up Praise on the God. hill, that they had light. Amen. They had light coming out of them, uh -huh. and that anybody that drove down that freeway, uh -huh. down I-10, they would see those houses. Praise the Lord. And bless God, the Lord, the Lord told us that's what y'all are going to be in the middle of city, in the, in the middle of Houston, a city on a hill, Praise so that the God. whole world could see. And He says that I would be exalted. In that. Praise God. Amen. I've been to your church. It's awesome. They got awesome worship, praise, and y'all just let the Holy Ghost have his way. Amen. Most Amen. churches put the Holy Ghost in the box and say he doesn't go according to our program. Yeah. But praise <laughs> God, y'all let the Holy Ghost have his way. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. And how long, when did you start at your ministry? Well, we, we actually started uh, July the 4th, 2010. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes, we're we're a new church, a new a new congregation. Uh, the Lord had just been uh, speaking to me, speaking to me, and you know when it was time for us to step out, you know so we we stepped out. We did it by faith. Uh, we used to have churches in the houses in Pasadena, in Magnolia, Texas, in the middle of the city, wherever wherever God would have us, uh -huh. you know. And uh, you know one thing that the Lord had told us, He says, you know, we want you to go back. To where you came from uh -huh. and these are the streets that we grew up in uh -huh. that I grew up in and he, he wanted us to go back to be able to set the captives free Praise he wanted God. us to go back to, to proclaim liberty Praise to them God. that were in bondage Praise those uh, you know brother Mike when I grew up my dad was uh, he was hooked on heroin uh -huh. you know we were we were young we would move from place to place throughout the city of Houston uh -huh. from Fifth Ward North Side to the Heights uh -huh. uh, you name it we moved as children and, and my dad is a good man mm -hmm. but he he got addicted at a young age mm -hmm. and uh, i grew up seeing that my mom and my dad i mean mm -hmm. uh, my mother she was uh she 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 didn't have no education you know mm -hmm. my dad was in and out of prison my whole life and uh my mom and to support us she would she would go to fiesta ballroom and mm -hmm. dance for a dollar you mm -hmm. know and uh there was there was there's six of us in the family. Mm -hmm. uh, two of them went to go live with my grandmother, and there was the, there there was us, me and my my my, my younger brother, and my little baby brother, and then my sister and mother sister. So there was five of us there, and we just grew up in the streets. You know, okay. we grew up uh, doing things of the world, doing things that we were taught. You know, you know, I like I like to speak to men. You know, I like mm -hmm. we just had a men's conference that that we had. We joined up with. Uh, Wrapped in the love of Christ, we joined up with Thug Ministry and City on a Hill, and we did a men's conference. And Praise I God. love to speak them to, to men to tell them, you know, many of them don't know how to be a man because they were never taught how to be a man. Praise I myself grew up in these streets, and the man that I grew up watching was the man of the street. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. get as many girls as you can get, do all the drugs you want to do, hang out with your homeboys, join the gangs, you know. That was the thing. But until I met a man of God, mm -hmm. until I got into the Word of God mm -hmm. to see what a real man of God mm -hmm. is supposed to be. Praise God. But yes, our church is uh, thriving. Like you said, uh, we don't believe in uh, going by set agendas. We believe in letting the Holy Spirit have its way. Amen. Have its way. Amen. And, you know, if, it's, if the Lord wants us to cast out a demon, we'll cast out a Praise demon. Praise God. Praise so, God. So, I mean, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and we just, you know, we, we, want, we want God to be increased. Amen. Amen. Praise at God. At City on a Hill. 
That is awesome. That is mm-hmm. awesome. It's not by might nor by power, but it's by the Holy Ghost. Amen. By the Holy Spirit. Amen. Letting God's spirit Amen. move, and that's what you're doing. Praise God. Amen. And when you have one of your members here, praise God. Yes. Oh, yes. praise God. Share a little bit what God's done with you and a little testimony. Share with the people who are listening so they could get blessed. Praise God. Amen. Well, you know, uh, three years ago, um, I, was in, I was in darkness. Mm-hmm. Um, my marriage was, was broken apart uh-huh. because of my drug addiction, uh-huh. because of my alcoholism, uh-huh. uh, being a... Uh, very unres- uh, unresponsible father and husband uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, and just like my pastor is saying uh-huh. I-, I didn't I wasn't taught how to be a man other than you know uh, what I seen at home from my father uh-huh. uh, that you work hard and as long as you pay the bills you can go and party as long as you pay the bills uh, you know you can have your beer you can you know do whatever you like as long as you know you take care of your business uh-huh. but uh, you know uh, my last, when I came to the Lord, I was already had tried. I started with marijuana at a young age of 13. By the age of 15, I was knowing cocaine. By the age of um, uh, 20, 24, 25, I got hooked on crack cocaine. Mm. And that right there really had a stronghold, mm-hmm. you know, had a stronghold in my life. Mm. And uh, I didn't know how to break free from it. Mm. I have tried uh, going to programs, drugs and alcohol programs, and uh, I will stay sober for about three months. But then I will, I will go back in, into mm. doing what I mm. used to do. Mm-hmm. Until one time, a friend of mine who actually uh, had two crack houses, and he got saved. Somebody told him about Jesus. Mm. And I ran into him, and I know it was a divine appointment, because mm. at that time in my life, you know, I was even thinking about suicide. Um, I mean, my life was a mess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, me and my wife had been separated. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, he started to tell me what this man, Jesus, had done for him. Amen. Hallelujah. So he, I got the invitation to go to church. Mm-hmm. You know, that Friday I, I went to church, and I haven't been the same ever since. Hallelujah. You know, the, 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 the Lord came into my life and broke out the chains of Hallelujah. bondage that Amen. I had in my life. Thank you, Lord. He broke the generational curse that was, Amen. you know, passed along by my fathers and forefathers. And, you know, it's just a blessing uh, because, you know, God brought me to this church, City on the Hill. Um, mm. I wasn't evangelized by somebody else. I wasn't invited by nobody else. Mm. But the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. brought me Amen. to City on the Hill. And, uh, and this happened three years ago. And, and, and let me tell you, young man, that you're looking, you know, whatever it is that you're going through, let me tell you that it's not going to work because you're trying to do it on your own strength. But when you give God your life, when you hand over completely your life to the Lord, that's when you're going to find purpose. Amen. Actually, there's a scripture here in John chapter 15, a verse 7 that says, if you remain in me, and my word remains in you. Ask whatever you wish, and it will be given unto you. Hallelujah. See, I was that that branch that was set apart from the vine. But it was it, it is now that I'm connected to the true vine, which That's is right. Jesus, Jesus. That my life has a purpose. Jesus took the blindfold from my eyes. He has given me a new life, a new understanding. And you know, uh, it, it's just awesome what God has done in my life because... People looked at me and said, you're always going to be a nobody. You're never going to amount to anything. But God said different. He said, you are my child. Hallelujah. I have paid a price for you. And that price was paid on the cross to set me free. So um, that's that's just a little bit of of, of what God has taken me out of, what God delivered me from. And uh, here I am, you know. Uh, uh, backing up this awesome ministry where God has placed Praise me, the Lord. and uh, and we're moving forward. Amen. And we serve a big God, and God is doing big things in our life. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah, brother. Tell them how they can get a hold of your uh, you by phone, and tell the the con- the people who are listening. Well, invite them to your church. Okay. Yes, well, tell well, the audience. we we are located in the heart of Houston, right in the heart of North Side. We are at 3902 Cochrane Street, Houston, Texas, 77009. And if you know where Irvington and Cavalcade is, if you know where Moody Park is, if you know where Robertson Park is, that's where we're at. And you can contact us. Uh, um, 
by phone or by website. Our website is www.thecityonahill.org. So you can contact us by email, put your information in, we'll give you, we'll contact, by, we'll contact you back, or just come, come out and see us. I, I promise you that you will not find a more passionate people on fire for the Lord Jesus Christ there at City on the Hill. And I want to make something very, very clear. I want to make something very, very clear. We're not here to lift up our church's name. We're here to lift up the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Because if you come into a place and you try to receive from a man, that pretty soon that'll, that'll wear off. If you try to receive a name of a church, that'll wear off. But if you, if you get Jesus, that'll never, ever, ever wear off. Amen. And that'll last forever. The Bible says, you know, Jesus told the devil himself, he said, man shall not live off of bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So that's what I want you to get. But we are here. We are here to be able to, to be the, the, the salt and light of the earth. We are here to set the captives free. You know, and I want to share, Brother Mike, this yes. is our mission statement right here. You know, it's in Acts 26, 18. To open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified, faith, sanctified by faith in me. Praise the Lord. That's what God has called us to do. Then when God called us out to start the church, you know, he said, you know, <clears throat> that you guys will be, he said, y'all will preach the gospel to the poor. And I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, well, why, why are we going to preach to the poor? He says, why are we going to go down there? I mean, there's a lot of places we can go. Why, why there? He says, so when people see the work that I'm doing, he says, they'll know that it is not by the rich neighborhood. I mean, he could have put us in River Oaks. Mm -hmm. He could have put us in Katy. He mm -hmm. could have put us in Kingwood. Mm -hmm. But he put us in Northside. He said, the reason why I did that, he said, it's just like Gideon, so I can get the glory. Amen. So that I can get the glory. Amen. Amen. You know? So we're, it, it's an honor. And I want to thank you. Well, thank you, God. Mike, thank and you. for giving us the opportunity oh, to be able to, to, to come on this show to glorify yeah. him, Praise that he Lord. may be glorified in us. That, that's Amen. what we're all about. Amen. It's not going to be the last time, brother, and because I believe in your dream. I believe in getting behind ministries who are doing something for Jesus. Amen. 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 Going to the highways and byways. Yes. Yes. Going to the rejects and the despair. Pies yes. of the world. Yes. Where people say, oh, I don't want to go there because he's an ex con, or he's a prostitute, or he's a homosexual, he's a pervert. That's the one Jesus loves. Amen. The people that reject. That's right. And you go into that, I'm behind any vision that is touching people's heart. Amen. To win souls. Yes. To let them know that there is a hope. Yes. When society gives up on him, yes. we're there to say, look what Jesus did for me. If God delivered me Hallelujah. from homosexuality, transsexuality, praise God. But see, it's the goodness. See, no one came and witnessed to me, brother. Mm. Because that's considered taboo. Mm -hmm. Even church people. Yes, wow. come on now. That's right. He had to take Jesus yes. through a vision Hallelujah. and dreams that Hallelujah. brought me back. Yes. Because the church got so caught up in their little crowd mm -hmm. of thinking they're all that in a bag of potato chips, and they forget the dying world and the people who backslide. That's right. We need to go to the backsliders and say, hey, I got good news. I serve a God who will restore you. I don't care what sin you committed. I don't care what you do. I'm here for you. Amen. I Amen. love right. you. Yes, Jesus right. is here yes. for you. Yes. I'm here to lift up the name of Jesus. Yes. And that's why I told Jesus, you brought me back, Jesus, by your Holy Ghost. But now that I'm back, I'm going to go to the prisons. When I go to the prisons, I dress up in my finest little clothes and People says, why you do that, brother? Because I'm looking at future men of God. I'm looking at high priests. I'm looking at sons and daughters of God that society rejected to tell them that there is a way out. 
Yes. That there's a way out yes. of the bondage. Yes. And tell them that Jesus yes. loves them. Yes. And tell them you're the apple of his eye. Hallelujah. You're the salt of the earth. Hallelujah. You're more than a conqueror. I'm here to tell you, I got the keys. Yes. If he set me free, right. he's right. able to set you free. Right. Yes. Brothers, we need to forget. Not forget those who society rejects. The ex cons, the prostitutes. Let me tell you, God is using the foolish things to confound the wise. Yes. And that's mm. why I lift your ministry up because you're doing what God wants you to do to go to the drug addicts, to the rejects, where society says, no, you're mm. three time offender, you're three time this. But guess what? The X cons, you turn that X to <laughs> around, it becomes a cross. Amen, amen. Oh, amen. he cut That's Hallelujah. what's it about. Yes, yes. That's what's it about. Yes. To tell the people there's hope. Amen. Mm. Can, can I share a story? Share One of our members at our church, let me just tell you the way the Holy Ghost moved and the way he worked in this man's life. Uh -huh. I mean, he was driving home from work one day. Uh-huh. And he was uh, doing a U-turn under the underpass of the freeway. Uh -huh. And as he was doing that, that underpass, he seen two homeless guys. And he was moved with compassion by the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. The Holy Spirit says, pull over and, and go, go talk to those guys. So he went over there and he talked to these guys about Jesus. And he says, hey, brother, do you want to come to my house? He says, I want to feed you. I want to clothe you. I want to do that for you. And you know, those two guys, they kind of took them by surprise, and they looked at each other, and they, they moved to the side, and they were like, hey, should we go? And they were like, hey, we get to eat. So they decided to go. He took them. He put them in his van, and he called his wife. He says, honey, get the house ready. We got company. They walked in, and these guys were smelly, and they were dirty, and they walked in the house, and his wife says, here's some change of clothes. Go take a shower. And he says, honey, they're going to gonna spend a night with us tonight. So they, he came out, they took a shower, and they ate. And after that, he sat them in the living room. And as he sat them in the living room, he shared Jesus with them. And they both got saved. And he started talking to them about the love of Christ. And they were, he just said, look, you just make yourself at home. He says, you eat, if you, you know, whatever you want, you, you eat. They went to sleep that night. And they got up the next day, and he told them, because he told them he would take them back, you know. So they were ready. And they got there in the morning, they ate breakfast, and he started talking to them more. Got to know their lives. And one of the guys, he was talking about how he got hooked on drugs. He said, he said, brother, I used to be a real estate agent. I used to sell homes. But things happened in my life. And I got hooked on drugs. And he says, I want to change. I don't want to live this way anymore. He says, but going to rehab, I can't even afford rehab. Now, if this brother would have took him in and fed him and clothed him, that would have been enough. But he went a step further. And he says, you know, I'm going to take you all. He paid $75 to put both of them in rehab. Well, they both went into rehab and glory be unto God. If that would have been the end of the story, that even would have been great. But when it happened, nine or ten months later, he gave the guy's number when, when they were there. If you need anything, call me. Nine or ten months later, he gets a phone call. He says, hey, brother. He says, yeah, who's this? He said, it's me. He said, the guy you picked up under the bridge. And he says, I just want to tell you thank you. He says, I'm in California and I'm building houses again. Praise he the says, Lord. I just want to tell you, thank you for taking the time to be able to stop and picking me up. Hallelujah. Amen. Those Hallelujah. are the type of people that we have there at City on the Hill. People that are, that, are, that are moved with compassion. That are not afraid to step in and step out. That are not afraid to, to take people in. Amen. 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 You know, Amen. and Lord. that's that's what. We, 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 that's what we did. We just got through doing an outreach at Moody Park. Praise the Lord. And there was a gazebo that we had there. And there was about five or six homeless guys that were sleeping in there. And as we got there, we would go and we would pray over Moody Park. And then we would get there and, and uh, we would go and minister to them. Even before we were there, we would just get there and pray. They would come to us. We would open our eyes and there they would be. They said, could you pray for me? With tears in their eyes. And they cleaned up the place and we went out to Moody Park because we go and evangelize. Amen. We go and evangelize and we go into to the projects and we yeah. go into those places. And, and, we, and we, uh, we had 500 people from the projects. We had a back to school bash there. 
And we were able to clothe the people. We were able to feed the people. We were able to give the kids backpacks. We were able to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and see these people raise their hands and praise God. And they got praise saved. The Lord. And they got saved. Praise God. That's what's it Hallelujah. About. Praise the yes. Lord. Amen. And tell the people how can they get in touch with you, brother. Invite yes. them to your church. Once Why again, we're at 3902 Cochrane Street, Houston, Texas, 77009. We are the city on a hill. We, we lift up the name of Jesus. We're all about God's business. We're all about our Father's business. And I want to tell you that with all my heart, that it doesn't matter where you've been. It matters where you're going. Amen. I don't have to sit here and tell you the things that you're doing wrong. We all know the things that we do wrong. But I want to tell you what you can do to get right. And all you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. And accept him into your heart. And today, today, you can be a new creation and old things are passed away. If you have backslidden, if you have not been living the life that you, that you know that you should be living, then all you have to do is tell him, Jesus, forgive me, and he'll forgive you. He loved you so much that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And he is not a man that he should lie. If he said it, then it is finished. And I just want you to know that we welcome you with open arms. Our services start at 11 o'clock on Sunday and at 7.30 on Thursdays. And we have a youth night. We have city, we have Christ in the youth. We have city youth, Christ in the youth. And if, and if you, you can get a hold of our website and we will have one of our youth leaders to be able to contact you and give you more details on our youth nights. And we have a, we have a men's ministry. It's called Strong Man's Ministry. Over in Matthew chapter 12, the Bible says that how can someone come into your house unless he bind the strong man? Men, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. If I can cut, if I cut this man's arm off, he could live. If I cut this man's leg off, he could live. But if I cut his head off, he cannot live. Mm -hmm. The enemy is decapitating our men in this city, in our state, in our nation. Because if he gets the man, he's got the whole family. He's got the whole family. So men, get your head on straight. It's time to go in. Like you take your car in for a front end alignment and start to align yourself with the, with the Lord Jesus Christ. We have a women's ministry, the, 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 the streams of healing waters. And these women, they're fired up about Jesus. They're not afraid to cast out demons. They're not afraid to, 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 set, to lay hands on you that you may be delivered. All these people are God sent. We don't have people that are here because of man. Every person that is sent, they, they said, God has sent me here by the unction of the Holy Spirit. And I just want you to know that we love you. We have a love and a desire for people. And you will feel the love of Christ as you walk into that place. Praise the Lord. And your goal, brother, this year, before this year, what is your goal to do? You have some event fixing to happen before we close. Yes, yes. We have, we have another outreach that we're going to be doing at Moody Park. Uh -huh. And this outreach is going to be focused uh -huh. on feeding the community. Uh -huh. And we, we're, we're joining together uh -huh. with other churches. Uh -huh. and, and we're going to make some turkeys. We're going to smoke turkeys. We're going to do all the fixings. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to be out there preaching the gospel. We're going to be giving clothes away. Uh -huh. Again, uh -huh. you know, uh, that's what God, that, that's our mission. That, that's what God has called us to do. Right. You know, we want to have at least two outreaches a year we also join up with other churches to help them in outreaches uh -huh. uh, we go and evangelize uh -huh. in that community but that's one of the big events that we're going to be having we're also for all the men we're going to have a men's retreat and uh -huh. this men's retreat is going to be taking place over in a men's retreat center we we, we take off and we take these men uh -huh. out of this environment and we take them to a place where they could just be alone with god and in there, we pour into them. We disciple them. We, they will hear men's testimonies. They will be able to, there, there's so much things that I cannot share because I don't want to give too much of it away. Uh -huh. But it's going to be on December the 7th. Uh -huh. It's going to be on a Friday and a Saturday. It's going to be on a Thursday and a Friday, and we're coming back Saturday. Praise but the Lord. Uh, it, it, it's, it's an awesome thing. Those are two big events that we have going on. Uh, I'm also, we, we are also teaming up with, uh, with 
other men's ministries to be able to have men's conferences that we're going to be doing a tour around the city of Houston. Praise so, uh, I mean, we, we, we ask if pastors want to get involved or if anybody wants to get involved, please mm -hmm. go to our website and we, we're, we're teamed up with, with other churches, we're teamed up with other ministries to be able to do this, to be able to impact the men mm -hmm. and to impact the youth and to impact the communities where Praise we're at. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. And if you're out there, enjoy the testimony of Brother uh, uh, Jaime, right? Jaime, yes, God sir. bless you. For, God bless glad you yes, for being here yes, with yes. me. And Bostamantes, yes. it was an honor it was to be honor, having bro. you here. And, and if you listen and if you need prayer right now, if you have not accepted Jesus yes. or if you backslide, just good news is that God will restore you. He yes. died on the cross yes. that you could be born again and set free. Right now, let's yes. pray. Yes. Say, yes. Jesus, come in my yes. heart. Thank you, my Father. And be the Lord yes. of my life. Yes, Lord. Forgive me of all yes, my, my sins. Thank you, my In Father. Jesus' name Jesus. I pray. Yes, I believe that Jesus Christ yes. is Lord. I confess him with my mouth. Yes, my Jesus is Lord. Yes. And if you did that prayer, said that prayer, repeated it, yes. or if you backslide, yes, I'm letting you know, I don't care what you've done, God has forgiven you. He's put his sins as far as the east from the west. And if you want to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, say, Jesus, fill me with thy Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. Baptism of the Holy Ghost, speaking yes. in tongues. In Jesus', in name. Jesus name. And if you're sick, lay hands on your body and receive the healing that has already been yes. provided yes. for you at the cross. Yes. Yes. And we rebuke that sickness yes. in, Jesus in Jesus' name. name. Father, Jesus. we thank, thank you, God, thank for you, healing Lord. them thank in, you, Jesus in Jesus' name. Jesus. name. Jesus. Praise God. Don't forget next week, we'll be praying for you. Please email us or write us. We're looking forward to hear from you in Jesus' name. God bless you. Amen and amen. 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 Brother, amen. glad you came. Yes, I enjoyed yes, it. To be here. Oh. Praise God. Gloria a Dios. This is Evangelist Michael Fernandez. If you want to be a part of our ministry and the ventures, the things we're doing, great things for God to bring the good news. If you want to be part of this ministry, go to my website and hablalos in the name of Jesus Christ. Dios le bendiga.